What is one characteristic you hope your daughter gets from you? And what characteristic do you hope she gets from your wife? <laughs> you guys are always like building me up and then just... <laughs> How about, so what do I have for real? I, wa I want her to get uh, her brains, her kindness, her work ethic, her optimism. Um, and then I want her to get my energy and hand movements. <laughs> she already kind of does, she, she does this a lot. What is your go-to game plan in a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> we feel like you would have a good plan of action. This is from Aaron. Um, well, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I gotta stock up on contact lenses. <laughs> it's a zombie apocalypse. I gotta be ready. I mean, te well, I technically, I will have glasses, but I can't be a nerd. <laughs> it's the apocalypse, so I gotta go get some AccuViews. Wait, what? Are you, is, why are you covering? So what? He, so it was like 40% of the audience. <laughs> the way you covered his face was like, no, he's gonna die. <laughs> what do you, what's, your, what's your prescription? I'm a negative 6.5 in one eye, negative eight in this one. Don't, hey, don't judge me. <laughs> That's why I'm saying I can't lose my glasses in the zombie apocalypse. I gotta stay, I gotta be able to do this. That's a great question. You know, I went in for an appointment. I went in for a consultation and the LASIK doc doctor was wearing glasses. <laughs> And I was like, nah. And I was like, why haven't you gotten LASIK? And she's like, well, we don't know everything about, and I'm like, I'm out. I'm not even gonna do this. She had glasses, that's bad. That's like not a good ad for LASIK surgery. Yeah. How, how long do you think I'd last? I, th I think I would die pretty fast, to be quite honest. Do you think I'd last? I think so, I think you'd uh, make the zombies laugh, so I think that- The zombies laugh? I think you'd be the one person to be able to do it. So, so they'd be like, <laughs> That's really funny. I need, I, need, I need my crew. Zombie apocalypse is about having your crew. Like, uh, who's your core crew? Is this the crew? Yeah. And then, you're just solo? Oh, I'm sorry. All right, you guys are the zombie apocalypse crew. What strengths are you bringing into the table? I can run fast. Run fast? What do you think? Run just run? That's not just speed. You have to have strategy. You have to have trustworthiness. Uh, you gotta be resourceful. You can climb trees? <laughs> well, it depends, I mean, this, we can get deep. There's a lot of different zombie mythology. There's like, there's some zombies that can walk through ocean. They can actually go underwater. Cause my whole thing is if, if they can't go into water, you get to the island and then you secure the island. I've thought this through. <laughs> also, I have, to, I have to travel with people that I'm like, I really need. So I travel with my barber, um, <laughs> it's like lining me up. Um, yeah, I think, I think you, you have to get to a Costco and secure the Costco. <laughs> Say what? Or a cruise. I know, or go on a cruise. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> what if the only thing available was the Kid Rock cruise? <laughs> You're like, just bring me to the zombies. <laughs> what, what do you think, over under, how long you last? Couple weeks? Full, on, full zombie apocalypse, well, the whole country? That's how fast people got infected and how far it spread and how you get infected. That's such a dude thing, by the way. We're like, I'd last like a few months. <laughs> Every single one of my guy friends that I talk to, they're like, I, look, I'm not just gonna do something stupid, like just go down the hallway or what, <laughs> just get eaten by, I don't know, man. I don't think I'd last that long. What's the worst fad you have ever participated in? This is from Kush. Is Kush here? What's the worst fad you participated in? White sneakers. Are you serious? Yo, you know what's crazy? This show, this show, this whole Q&A thing has turned into a full-on <laughs> roast session. This is bullshit. This is honestly, I do this out of like the love for you guys. This has turned into a family situation. You're taking photos when you shouldn't. It's totally fine. Like this is what I'm talking about, guys. I open it up. Two weeks straight, I get roasted about my pockets. I'm joking, white sneak, you don't like the white sneaks? Oh. All right, we're back, we're good, we're good. I was wrong, we're good. White sneakers are whack? They're not cool? I thought, I thought like crispy white sneakers. It's, <laughs> are white, let me ask, is, are white sneakers not cool? I thought white sneakers are cool. Yeah, mutiny, zombie apocalypse, this side versus this side, I'm joking.
<laughs> All right, can I tell you the one I did? I did puka shells in middle school. That was bad. That was really bad. It was a phase. Puka shells are like, how would you describe puka shells? It was like, like these like white shells around your neck. They're called Visco girls? So that was a thing at your school too? Now it's back? Oh shit. You... <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? Like we're all in these like transition periods in our life. <laughs> this is no judgment zone. What else did I do? You know what you know the fad that I wanted to do? I wanted to bleach my hair. Oh. Yeah, come on. For real, I didn't end up doing it. I'm too much of a coward. Don't you think it, but it could it could fuck up fast. Like you could you could be like Neymar or like Guy Fieri. Like it could <laughs> If not executed well, you could. So it's good that I didn't like just bleach the top part. What if I came out and I was like being really serious? I'm like, guys, we have to talk about insulin prices. And I'm just <laughs> a Marshall Mathers from Europe. I did gel pens, but I still love gel pens. Gel pens are great. What's your favorite gel pen? Um, the Jelly Rolls from 2000, 2002. Oh, there's a specific year. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> And the ones with the glittery caps. Wow! Everyone's, everyone's like, make this guy president. <laughs> Those are great. Those are great. My favorite is the Uniball Vision Elite. It's my favorite pen. That's fancy. I don't pay for it. The show does. I do a lot of things where I'm just like, order 70 more pens. They're like, do you need them? I'm like, yes. I do. You steal stuff from work, right? The key is you gotta do it slowly. <laughs> Siphon it off. That's how I'm gonna last in the zombie apocalypse. Everyone's gonna be like, you have the shit? And I'm like, I got a lot of pens. <laughs> All right, if you made a Tinder, what would your bio be? This is from Laura. All right, this is a trap. <laughs> you know, I'm, mar I'm married with, I have a baby. <laughs> if you made a Tinder, is Laura here? <laughs> okay. Laura. This is a strange question. Are you on Tinder? I'm not. Okay. <laughs> why, why the... <laughs> Just a creative question. <laughs> I, does anyone have it? I would love to do their bio, if, I would, if anyone wants me to do their bio. You want me to do it? I'll do it right now. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll change your... Oh I can change your bio. <laughs> Really? Yeah. All right, let me see it. Whatever you want. All right, there's no, there's no like super private information Don't here, right? Worry, no. Okay. All right, here we go. Techno, let's do this. Okay, here we go. This is the bio. Artist, slash vegan, slash teacher, slash feminist, slash pug mom, slash environmentalist, slash weirdo, slash freaky. Okay. And what do you do? What is, there's a, lot, there's a lot of photos of you. Filled up all nine. One, two, three. Okay, so let me see. So you have one view in front of just like, this looks like kind of like an oil painting. Just an oil painting vibe. We got one, you're wearing the same dress you're wearing right now in the second one. <laughs> your third one, why, in number three, why aren't you showing your face? It's a good outfit. <laughs> okay, puppy, it's a puppy photo. Okay, so here, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna just do the bio real quick. About me, Virgo, Leo, Capricorn. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't really do that. Uh, Astronomy is not my thing. All right, here we go. Patriot Act. <laughs> New episodes. <laughs> Soon. We gotta, do, we gotta do like a meaningful quote, so here we go. <laughs> Tonight on Patriot Act. <laughs> Not all who wander are lost.
Christina, 23, art teacher, Maryland Institute College of Art. Enjoy. Thank you. That was wild. I felt like, I felt like when I, I'm going to be honest, when I was holding that, I was like, this, this is very important, right? I can't just fuck this up. No, you can't. Oh, okay. This is like my dating life we're talking about. Very honest. Shit. Okay. All right. I hope that helped. If you could talk to your younger self, what would you tell him? This is from Brittany. I would say, just easy on the polo sport. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to bathe in it. Just, it's just a couple sprays. You don't have to, like, what else? I guess, um, don't, don't stress out as much. It'll be all right. That's it. Yeah, it'll be all right. Don't, don't stress. That's what I'd probably tell younger me. If you could ask one question and be guaranteed complete honesty, what and who would you ask? I would ask you, <laughs> how do you feel about white sneakers? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I would, Eddie, can you step into the light, please? <laughs> Eddie, can you step into the light? <laughs> into the light, into the light. Get in the light. Jim, grab Eddie. I would ask Eddie, our, our wonderful stage manager, would you be my... <laughs> I'm getting nervous, bro. Would you be my friend outside of work? 100%. No, you... For real? You <laughs> You know, we've done 22 episodes together. 100%. Sometimes, a host and a stage manager are not friends outside of work. And you really hate to see that sort of thing. But the good news is, this is not one of those times. Because Hassan and Eddie, well, they're friends. I would ask Eddie, our, our wonderful stage manager, would you be my friend outside of work? No, you 